Hello, pre-tribbers. You know what? The devil uses the same old playbook over and over and over again. He uses the same modus operandi. Um, his mode of operation it, it's the same. I went back and just watched some of the previous videos that I've done on this channel. One of them I was watching, it's, I think the name of it, it goes sort of like, there's no if, ands, or buts about it. The rapture will happen. In light of recent or current events that's going on on YouTube now, I, I realize and I discover again and again that the devil uses the same modus operandi. He uses the same old playbook over and over again. In that video that I did, I think maybe a couple, two, three years ago, I, I, I don't see it right now, I'm not online. In that particular video, I was telling the people about some guy, uh, I, I forget exactly what his channel was, but he came onto YouTube uh, telling everyone that the rapture is coming, that the Lord is coming. Um, he told everybody that he used to be an atheist. Uh, he got sick and had some kind of a disease and almost died. And uh, somehow he got on YouTube and started doing videos. He was telling everybody that Jesus is coming. Uh, what happened is this guy, he built up this huge following with tons of subscribers. All of a sudden, this guy came out. He came out and said, if the rapture is going to happen, blah, 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 blah. And I was like, what? And so I did that video. If you want to go back and listen to it, after that, he just kind of left. He may have came back one time again after that. But he deleted all of his videos and left. And this, I, I'm pretty sure I, I saw a little bit after that someone had uh, opened up a new channel and just uploaded all of his videos. Um, but that was really amazing. Um, the world is wicked and there's a lot of phony Christians on this planet. But God knows the ones that are following him and whether it's a thousand, a hundred thousand, a hundred million, or however many it is, Jesus is going to rapture his church before pouring out his wrath. And if you haven't noticed <laughs> uh, the so-called drama that's been going on, a lot of people having visions and dreams and pro prophecies that are failing and all of this kind of stuff. And I noticed that these people, some of them gather all these people following them uh, you know, and then only to turn around suddenly, turn around and say that they don't believe in a pre-trip rapture. Uh, if they did, they don't believe it in believe in it anymore. And so that's the same modus operandi. Uh, this guy, a couple, two, three years ago, the same thing he did. He came on, got a big following of people. And then boom, out of a sudden, he doesn't believe in a pre-trip rapture anymore. It's the same modus operandi to get people to let their guard down, uh, start trusting in a bunch of people, following them, and then, you know, have people doubting the pre-trip rapture and have these people miss the rapture because, you know, they're not looking for Jesus anymore. They're following a person. Be careful you know, who you follow and who you believe, they uh, would draw your attention away from the Lord, your focus away from the return of Jesus Christ to, to rapture his church. Your focus should be on the Lord Jesus Christ. He said, watch for him. He said, watch. You're supposed to be looking for him. Our focus should be on getting the gospel out and you know, occupying until he's come, but always looking and watching for the Lord Jesus and not get caught up in these people in their phony dreams and visions and prophecies. Be careful who you follow and be careful what you believe. It has to line up everything that is said, line up with the Bible. If it doesn't line up with the word of God says, you have to reject it and you have to examine it and rightly divide the word of truth. <laughs> For example, uh, I just said, um, that you should be careful and I noticed that some guy 
uh, I was watching some program that he did. Um, he's saying that, oh, we shouldn't be careful. The Bible said we should be careful, be careful for nothing. And I was thinking, isn't this guy ridiculous? And and I've seen his show maybe a couple of times. I looked at his, went to his site and saw what he was talking about. And not one time did I see him open up a Bible to read scripture. <laughs> and and this, you know, this is evidence of it. When I say be careful, and then he said, oh, the Bible says be careful for nothing. Like, duh, we're supposed to rightly divide the word of truth. For example, that's in Philippians 4, 6. It says be careful for nothing. But duh, the Apostle Paul <laughs> later said in the book of Titus 3, 8 that it says this is a faithful saying and these things I will that thou affirm constantly that they which have believed in God might be careful to maintain good works the Apostle Paul said be careful so you have to rightly divide the word of truth you have to keep everything in context in Philippians 4 6 it's talking about prayer and your request made known to God that you should not be anxious or nervous or be in an anxiety about getting what you need from God. But later on, it's talking about be careful. We're saying be cautious, beware, be on guard. People need to rightly divide the word of truth. And and what makes it so funny is this same guy, several videos of these so-called prophets or watchmen telling everybody that they should pack up and store rice and dried beans and head to the hills you know <laughs> but it's just ridiculous there's a lot of drama and a lot of ridiculous things going on on YouTube right now I will probably come back and do a couple of other videos because I saw some other stuff that was just weird it's just strange <laughs> um, these people with all these dreams and visions it, it's amazing it's even gotten to the point where some of them are, I mean, they were upset, boiling mad, saying that some of the other dreamers and visionaries have stolen their dreams. <laughs> well, how can you prove that they stole your dreams? Maybe, you know, maybe the same spirit that gave you yours gave them theirs. <laughs> but it, it's just really amazing. But you know what? And I was also thinking in this in this way too. If a dream or a vision come for God, God doesn't have any problem with giving that same dream to someone else. God is no respecter of persons. And 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 the word says that uh, prophecy is not up for private interpretation. God is no respecter of persons. He can give one person a dream and, and give the same dream to somebody else. But this person, I mean, yo, you stole my dreams, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> It's it's really it's really a trip. It's really funny, some of the things that are going on on YouTube. Um, it's amazing. People, please get into your Bibles and rightly divide the word of truth. The King James Bible, the Holy King James Bible. I have a some other video uh, YouTube channels where I've done videos about the Bible versions, but. The King James Bible version is the only one for English-speaking people who, that can be trusted. You know, all these other Bibles, you have to be aware of the spirits behind those Bible versions and who edited and brought forth those Bible versions. For example, I can tell you, a lot of people brag on the NIV. The NIV is published by a pornographer. Rupert Murdoch. Uh, he also publishes the Satanic Bible. He also publishes a the uh, homosexual joy of homosexual sex. He publishes a lot of trash, and yet he owns the rights to the NIV Bible too. He published. He's the publisher of the NIV Bible. And did you know that the um, the board or the commission, what do I want to say, the um, people on the committee that came up with the NIV Bible and, and they decided what would be in the, the NIV and what wasn't. They had homosexuals on the on the uh, translating committee of the NIV. They took out the word sodomy. For one thing, they took out a lot of stuff out of these Bibles. 
test everything by the word of almighty god and if it doesn't work if it doesn't fit you have to reject it you have to rightly divide the word of truth and that's just all there is to it but i'm running a little bit long on this video so i want to say thank you for watching and have a great day